What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you're here with Justin. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this channel we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related. My experiences and opinions on certain topics, but most importantly, my journey in towards getting tattooed and working towards my bodysuit. Now I got a new tattoo planned in the near future. I'm not going to tell you exactly when. But make sure you go and subscribe so you don't miss that and any future content. So in today's video, we're going to be going over and reviewing the whole arm and the pain that is related to each spot on the arm. I have both my arms done, so I have two sleeves. I can give you a general review and consensus of what I feel is the most painful, what is the easier spots, and just the all-around experience of getting a tattoo sleeve and the pain that is related to it. So I hope you guys like this video. Like always, let's get to it, let's go. So guys, I just wanna make sure and stress you guys off the bat that you know, pain is relative. I may feel pain that somebody else may not feel pain and vice versa. This is my experiences and also I'm taking the experiences from other people that I've heard from what the internet says, and you know, kind of just bundling it up and getting a general conclusion of it all. Let me know in the comments what is the most painful area on the body that you've gotten tattooed. So I'm gonna start off by answering the question to why a tattoo hurts. And for the most part, a lot of you know, it's a needle that is puncturing your skin and you know, it's abrasive to it. It's either scratching you, it's puncturing you in some type of way. And after a while, or right in the beginning, it is a discomfort to the body. It is not something the body's used to. For the most part, it, it is gonna hurt. It is a painful experience. As you go in a session, the, the pain of the tattoo increases as you go on. So as you guys can see, when you start the tattoo, it's gonna hurt a lot, and that's because your body is not used to this type of pain, and it's just, it's kinda new. But as you go on, the time starts to, about 45 minutes to an hour, your body starts to get used to the pain, and your mind kind of adapts, and you get used to it. But then after about the four hour mark, I would say, for me personally, that's when it starts to spike. Your body's no longer used to it just because it's, everything's becoming so sensitive. It, it just ends up hurting like a bitch. Even the wiping hurts. So guys, I wanna give you a little rule a thumb to know when going into a tattoo or getting a, ta uh, a place done so the middle of the place that is getting tattooed is probably going to hurt the least and as you move out into the towards the extremities of the of the placement of the area that is when it's going to hurt more so what do i mean by that is like okay so change which say we choose the forearm the middle of the forearm is going to hurt the least and then as we move out into the either the wrist or either to the elbow bend that is where it's going to hurt more so that's just a general rule of thumb i want you guys to know when thinking about the whole body, like legs, arms, whatever. So I got a little pain skill I made up for you guys. It's gonna go from one to five. One being, ouch, I barely felt that, but you know, I felt a little pinch. Two is the least amount of discomfort. Three is some discomfort. Four is a lot of discomfort. And five is, holy f I'm out. Let's get to the first part, and that is the shoulder. So the shoulder, we're gonna break it up into a couple parts. We're gonna do the front, the top, the middle, and then the back. So the top, I found, was definitely the most painful area on the shoulder, along with the back. I would give that about a 3.5 to 4 on the scale. It, it does hurt, especially when you're going over it for a long period of time. The front was doable. I would give it about a 3. You can, uh, it's not that hard. And then the middle is about a 2.5. You know, it is, you got a lot of meat there. You don't really feel it too much. So that's probably one of the easier spots of the shoulder. Now for the bicep, I would say for the middle to the inner almost is, um, it's sensitive. I would give it about a four to five. The inner one is by far the most painful area that I've experienced on the arm, on both arms. Uh, it's one I've always dreaded. Thank God I have both done, so I don't got experience anymore. But honestly, say a 4.5 out of 5. Like, uh, it's not a 5. I'm lucky my artist is a guest artist, so I don't have the luxury of saying, you know what, let's, let's stop for today and come back and do it another day. It's pretty much, I'm booked with him in that time, and we're busting out it in that time that I have with him. So I really didn't have a choice to quit, but that's almost a 4.5 to 5 out of 5. The middle, again, that's about a... 2 to 3 at 2.5, it's easy. Probably the easiest part on the arm is probably this arm where your tricep is. And then as you work towards the back, again, that's where it gets sensitive. That's about a 4 to 4.5. Then we're going to work our way to the bottom of the uh, middle arm. So this is where the elbow bend is. I would say the middle where I have this Acropolis, that was sensitive. That was about a 4 out of 5. It was um, it was very uncomforting. And all along the, pretty much, I'm going to say it's 4.5, 4 
all around. Now I will say this, the elbow is supposed to be one of the most painful areas that I've heard. And you know, for me, it wasn't that bad. Honestly, I didn't really feel much. And that's again, where the pain is relative comes into play. But I will say the elbow from my general review from everybody else, it is a 4.5 out of five, if not a five. It is a very painful spot. Now let's move towards the inner forearm. I would say for the most part, as only time I would say it gets really bad and becomes about a four out of five is in the wrist area. The wrist definitely hurts a lot more than anything else, I would say on that piece. And then the last part of the arm is the outer arm. And I would say, honestly, this is about a three. It wasn't that bad. I was able to sit through this without pretty much any discomfort only when we started getting to the eight hour mark that's when I, I feel i felt discomfort in a lot of places but for the most part if you're getting anything less than that you should be fine let me know what your most painful area on the arm is now you know again i'm going to reiterate for me it was the inner bicep area along the back of the tricep and definitely the wrist area that's my most painful areas on the arm let me know what your most painful areas on the arm and help everybody else out, kind of give a better understanding to the areas that they might be thinking of getting tattooed. General consensus of it all is the arm is pretty easy. The leg is a lot worse than the arm. So the arm is like pretty much your entry point into getting tattooed and sleeves. And then you gotta start working less. So I'm gonna get, once I get my sleeve done, I'm gonna come back to you guys on how painful a leg sleeve is. But you know, for the arm, I would definitely say that it's doable. Now my arms have a lot of hours into them. I would say about 40, five to 48 hours each arm. Some of the pain that I'm giving you guys is because I've spent so long in the chair themselves where say some people may only be sitting for four hours for a piece. I was usually sitting between eight to 10 hours a piece. That's the pace he works at, I don't rush him. The work he does is amazing as you guys can see. Let me know if this video helped in any way. If it did, go give it a big thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Let me know like always if I missed anything. I know, you guys know I love to respond back to you guys and reading what you guys have to say, your opinions on the whole topic. Go and do that for me. Also, make sure you subscribe because again, I have that new tattoo coming soon. You don't wanna miss that and you just don't wanna miss any other future content that I have coming. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for giving me your valuable time. I hope you guys have a great day. Like always, Justin out. Later, guys.